a, the federal, a federal judge had approved AT&T's acquisition of Time Warner, and the first big changes at the newly renamed Warner Media Group have begun. Richard Plepler, who had been the CEO at HBO since 2013 and an executive with Time Warner for over 25 years, stepped down on Thursday. Yahoo Finance Editor-in-Chief Andy Serwer joins us now to talk about the future of Warner Media, Plepler, and what the closure of this uh, merger means for the media world going forward. So let's just start with Richard Plepler's role at HBO, how big of a uh, figure he was there, and in your view, what this kind of means for HBO, which is really the crown jewel of, of that acquisition. Yeah, a lot to sort of unpack there, as they say. Uh, full disclosure, I worked at Time Warner for many decades and worked with Richard, know Richard pretty well. He has the unbuttoned shirt, the suntan, a known fixture in the social scene Look in New York there. City. Yeah, it. I always say that Richard is the most LA person yeah. in all of New York. <laughs> I, you know, he really is. He's, he's a voluble guy, gregarious, bon vivant, but also an incredibly savvy media executive. And HBO, as you said, a crown jewel, has a very unique and distinct and discreet culture. Um, and they've built all these incredible shows there, starting with, you know, The Sopranos and Sex and the City and then Game of Thrones and a million other great uh, shows in between. And he started as a PR guy there, of course, and then gradually moved himself up and became the chief executive. And they've been very, very successful. Uh, it's made a ton of money, grown audience, a great prestige company. But, you know, immediately when the deal with AT&T was announced, there was a culture clash right yeah. away and you know that ended uh, just yesterday with this announcement. So what does it mean for sort of the quality of HBO moving forward because clearly as you point out this is a company that's going to go through some huge transitions now that AT&T is acquired Time Warner once that is all finalized um, you know shows like Game of Thrones I mean that's not the kind of scale that we see from the likes of Netflix. Are we going to start to see those kind of shows more? Is it more about churning out more content? You know, it's interesting you mentioned Netflix, Akiko, because the problem that AT&T sees with HBO is scale. Mm -hmm. They love the fact that they put out all these great shows, but they have Netflix envy. And Time Warner did too. I mean, Time Warner famously, Jeff Bukas called them an Albanian army mm -hmm. that no one had to worry about. Well, guess what? Before AT&T bought Time Warner, Netflix had a big mar bigger market capitalization than Time Warner. Now they're the Huns. Right, exactly. And so when you look at a scaled, modern content company, the paradigm is Netflix. And so Stanky from AT&T was with Richard Plepler and said, yeah, you guys make money. You need to make more money. You need to be the size of Netflix. Having said that, you know, you're going from class to mass. Right. Yeah. And so not so easily done. And, you know, Richard was the person who kind of, you know, was in charge of mixing up that secret sauce, you know, the keeper of the recipe. And so that's gone. And you wonder, wow, are they going to not be class, not be class and not be mass? They might fail on both counts. Yeah. I don't know. So right now, AT&T actually has no plans to replace Plepler. Right. Um, so I'm wondering how that's going to impact, especially if, if they're going to be making this shift, right, from class to mass, without anyone heading up that operation, really, um, and focusing on that, really, what's AT&T going to do, and how's that going to impact Yeah, business? I mean, that's a big question, Chris. And last night, I was at the premiere of Alex Gibney's movie, The Inventor, which is about Elizabeth Holmes and Theranos. And Richard Plepler used to lord over these events. He was the MC. And he'd call people out. I mean, he was so smooth and so excellent at making everyone feel good. And this incredible community of HBO producers and showrunners, people like David Simon and Alex Gibney, mm -hmm. and on and on and on, people who created all these shows. And so with him gone, you just yeah. wonder, are they going to be able to continue to do that? And or will this whole thing just scatter to the winds? Because you know, what keeps someone at a company in many cases? You yeah. know, well, sure, it's money, but also it's like, I love to work with these people. And, you know, Netflix has kind of done a pretty good job with that, with the money. And, you know, we've seen like all those sort of tropes and memes where like, hello, it's Netflix. Yes, you're greenlit. Yeah. You know, right, like that right. thing. Yeah. But, but when you talk to the HBO people, um, you know, they love working there and they're independent people. And Plepler used to say, you know, more isn't better better is better. Well, I mean, and, that was one and, of his famous pluperisms. For, for all the talk of Netflix, right, making money, I mean, they're burning through cash. I mean, they, they are spending, what, $7 billion on content, something like that. HBO has not been able to match that. Is that the kind of scale that AT&T is going for? Uh, it's AT&T, Akiko, right? I mean, you're talking about the Money's largest unlimited. scale in, in, in the country, yeah. you know, at a huge, huge level. And, you know, let's face it, I mean, AT&T's had problems. I mean, they've made these big bets 
with Direct TV and with Time Warner, and the stock has gone from 45 to 30 bucks over the yep. past three yeah. years. And you know, full disclosure, of course, they compete with our parent company, Verizon, yep. which has more or less gone in a different direction, not invested in content as much, <laughs> except for us, right. um, which is a smaller bet. We and, are and, not HBO. But if you, yeah. Right, but if you actually parse it a little bit, it's not that the market necessarily doesn't like being in content, it doesn't like what they paid right. for those deals. So right. that's a very distinct point. And and then you know, how do they compete? You know, using this content to differentiate what they have versus our parent company Verizon. That's the big thing. And then another interesting note, of course, is where does Plepler land? Yeah. Um, yeah. And right. a lot of people have been talking about him going and running uh, CBS, right. which needs a new chief executive. Um, and so there'll be high demand for his services, and uh, so it'll be really interesting to see that as well. Yeah, fascinating time, certainly not the end of this story. Andy Sober, thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys.